All aboard your tech news, games, and deals caboose extra episode. We had the NVIDIA live stream, which they showed off the RTX 2060 graphics card. They just announced it. And we also have some RTX laptops and a bunch of other stuff to go all over through the live stream. So let's start this off. So first we had the actual CES announcement started 10 minutes into the live stream. And then for about a whole 49 minutes, we kind of got a little bit of recaps on demos and different RTX stuff and just past graphics improvements and some shading, GPU revolution, RTX and all that. And then at 49.54, we got Anthem. Uh, the new hype game coming in February 15th is getting DLSS support. So DLSS is the deep learning super sampling and that is, let's shut off this little banner because it's not 3 p.m. But basically deep learning super sampling is basically going to give you better performance. It's using deep learning to actually learn all the different pixels and everything and can give you better performance and also increase in quality potentially as well. So you'll get, so Anthem's going to have pretty good performance for expecting at launch especially after like a patch or two or so for updates. So cool thing there for Anthem getting DLSS support and spoiler, Battlefield also gets DLSS support. We'll get to that in a minute. But then basically we get to 106 in the live stream and they're showing off all the cool Battlefield stuff, all the ray tracing and we kind of just think they're still recapping. But then at 109, 108 exactly, we find out that it's actually the whole demo has been on the RTX 2060 and the demo has been running at 1440p resolution and they're getting 60 FPS and they show a little graph here. We have a performance graph at 45. Here's the RTX 2060. It's actually, I think they show some specs real quick. He holds it up. It's got a dual fan that looks like the Founders Edition, silvery. And here's the performance. It's at 60, above 60 FPS, 65 FPS, they're saying 1440p, Battlefield 5. And then they say they turn ray tracing on and it drops down to around 50, 45 to 50 FPS. Let's see if we can get here and there, this little drop. And then they say they turn DLSS on. This is the performance and quality improvement slightly. And it goes back up to 65-ish FPS. So pretty cool. You'll be getting, if you want to use ray tracing on the card, you probably want to play one of the games with DLSS, which is just Battlefield 5 right now. And then also a couple other games have DLSS, but basically you're going to be getting above 60 FPS with ray tracing at 1440p, the higher resolution, with a 2060. And, the, and they're being priced at $350. And it's coming in a couple days, which is January 15th is the launch date for these cards. And let's jump into some actual specs for the card. We get $350, January 15th. This is the Founders Edition. There's no word on if there's a lower price for other cards or vendor brands. So we'll have to see what the other guys are charging. But there it is, the two fans we have. 13 blade, six phase power supply for maximum efficiency, some more pictures. And then we get some specs. It's 52 teraflops of awesome performance and then we get 1920 CUDA cores, 5 gig arrays, this is the ray tracing, and then we get a boost clock of 1680 with a base of 1365 and then we'll be able to overclock from there. And memory speed 14 gigabits, 6 gigabytes of GDDR6 memory with 192 bit bus, ray tracing support, all that good stuff, 4K, for multi-monitors, multi size is 4.4 inches, height, the length is 9, we get a two-slot card, 160 watts, recommended 500 watts, and it's 8 pin. So that is all your RTX 2060 specs for you. And what else do we have here from this live stream? 350, and then we have, let's jump into some G-Sync stuff. At 119, that's all your graphics card kind of news. We'll get into some laptop RTX 
at the end of this, but we get G-Sync at 119.10. So basically, they're going to be adding more monitor support for monitors without actual G-Sync chips in them. So that is usually costing monitors an extra 100 or so dollars. And they are have actually tested over 500 monitors for the G-Sync for their own standards and stuff to test and 12 monitors are actually going to get free G-Sync support basically and that is their testing at 125.20 we can actually see a list hopefully if I timestamp that correctly here are some of the monitors we get a bunch of ASUS monitors a bunch of Acer monitors one BenQ an Aegon an AOC and they're testing over 550 monitors and they just tested 400 of them. So they're still testing and these 12 have already passed. So there could be even more that pass the quality standard that they're setting. So this will get you G-Sync, which is basically matches game frame rate and the monitor refresh rate. And those two match together to give you like really smooth video, video gameplay basically. So basically free G-Sync for these monitors. So these guys will sell pretty well now. You already have one. Good job, you. You knew somehow. You knew something we all didn't. And what else do we have? That's G Sync at 131.21 in the stream. 131.21. We get a bunch of cool little announcements here. First up, we get this is for anim animators, animation and stuff. They are going to support with the RTX cards Arnold. So you're gonna get accelerated performance for Arnold processes, 3D Max, bunch of different animation y stuff if you're into that. Apparently 1.5 million people are animating, I believe the number was. And then we also get, in just a couple seconds, 8K video editing. This is for the RTX 2080 and above, so TI and most likely the RTX Titan, and then other RTX cards above that. I'm not sure what we're gonna see but that is encoding, um, color editing, and a couple other things. And then our next announced little announcement is OPS, OBS Pro Quality Broadcasting. And this is cool. It's basically, uh, they, had a, they have, Nvidia has their own shadow play, which basically offloads all the streaming processing to the GPU. So basically they made an SDK for OBS to kind of do the same thing. So it's going to offload all the capture, the coding, and the streaming off of your CPU. And this will put it all onto the RTX GPU. So basically, instead of having two computers, they're trying to get more broadcasters, people streaming onto the RTX lineup. And you'll get a lot better performance there if you're hitting CPU limits, which isn't usually your bottleneck for streaming, but it could be different hitches. So. That's just something cool that they're doing there if you have a lower CPU or something, plus other issues. And then we also get some other little things for HTC, which is 134. This was kind of mentioned a little bit in other HTC stuff, but this is the foveation rendering. So if your headset, your VR virtual reality headset has eye tracking in it and it tracks your eyes, it will actually render the quality of where you're looking and the outside pixels will be a lower quality. So you'll basically get more FPS, more performance for your headsets with this foveation for these graphics cards and such. And so cool VR stuff there, a little announcement. And there will be at 137, we can jump into the laptop stuff. Let's jump into that. So over 40 models will be coming out January available January 29th with RTX inside them. 17 of the models will actually be Max-Q. This is the thin, really thin laptops. They basically condense the graphics chips and everything. And it's also a little bit more power and thermal efficient so that it can actually work in those. So we actually get some actual performance. 139.13, bam. And 13, I said 13, watch out. So 17 coming out in 2019. That's just the beginning, that's just January. So we're probably gonna see a lot more of the RTX, the Max-Q designs. And then again, performance, let's get to that. So here is the MSI GS69 Stealth. 
This is a RTX 2080 laptop. This is thin, it looks like Max-Q, I'm assuming, and 15% lighter than the, there was another MSI G GS65 or something, and 10% smaller, 2.5x battery life. So this is the Max-Q versus the non-Max-Q, I'm assuming, and then 144 hertz monitor. So cool there, and then 139.32, we get some actual performance versus, I believe they say consoles. So they're kind of trying to compete against consoles with two times performance of the most powerful console is the PS4 Pro, they say. So it's basically 30% of the volume, so it's way thinner. And this laptop, so you get a keyboard, you get a battery and a monitor, all thinner than the PS4 Pro, emphasis on that. And so this is more powerful than the GTX 1080, the desktop version, and you're going to get 60 FPS in Battlefield 5 with ray tracing on. So you're going to get all those cool lighting effects and you're going to be able to edit 6K red video editing footage. And I believe they said this was coming a little later. They didn't announce like what month or if it was like Q2-ish, but this was along when they were talking about the 8K video editing for the 2080 and above. So they were then mentioned the 6K would then come a little bit later. So starting with 8K, rolling to 6K for some reason, I'm not sure. They didn't mention it. And that is your laptop stuff. We actually get to see him playing one-handed while talking to the crowd. You try to do this while I missed what he said, but it was funny <laughs> either way. And he's playing and fighting and playing Battlefield 5 with ray tracing on and he doesn't really kill anybody he's kind of just standing there he doesn't move anywhere but just something funny to throw out there and that is your nvidia ces live stream from ceo jensen huang that, i wasn't racist there sorry but we will this is your second little extra episode today there was too much news to throw it into tomorrow's episode so i just threw it in here we have some comments saying over 9,000 fps is probably what you're going to get with the 2060 rtx probably not but 60 fps for sure and that means another episode tomorrow at 3 p.m pacific we may have a second episode also tomorrow depending on how many ces announcements come out gotta gather them all up and make videos so that is us signing out pew 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 pew